Hi, this is Stephanie Marco from That Tantra Life. Happy to be here on WGC. And today I'm going to be teaching you a Kundalini yoga set that's quite advanced. It is um, about an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes, and it is to help cultivate and transform sexual energy. Our sexual energy, our creative force, is this incredible, most powerful energy in our bodies. And when we're using our sexual energy in positive ways, we're really generating a connectedness with spirit, a connectedness to ourselves, and um, really expanding our possibilities for our health, particularly with our nervous system, with our brain functioning. The seminal fluid that gets created in our bodies through sexual energy it's actually absorbed into our ojas. Um, and this is a term that just basically means our spinal fluid, our essence of, of, um, of sexual health, if you will. So this practice allows these uh, ojas, this essence of the seminal fluid to mature and to get properly absorbed into the body so that it brings vitality to you rather than just being expended as sexual energy that kind of dissipates. So we're really kind of cultivating this energy, giving um, new life and maturity to this fluid, pulling it into the spine and allowing it to really expand through our bodies and give us those wonderful benefits of neurological and uh, physical stamina. So we're just going to begin by noticing our breath and closing our eyes and filling our bellies beautifully like a balloon with air and exhaling, pulling the spine, the uh, belly point back to the spine. Inhale. And exhale. And in Kundalini Yoga, we begin every practice tuning in with the mantra Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. And this basically translates to I bow to the inner teacher within me. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Bringing darkness to light, I am my own teacher. So please come bringing your palms together at the heart center, thumbs are pressing inward and upward at the sternum. Eyes are closed. Shoulders are rolled back and up. Chest is wide. Eyes are focused at the third eye point. And the tongue is pressed nicely and gently at the roof of the mouth. And inhale. And exhale. Inhaling to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Deeply inhale, suspend the breath, and exhale, relax the hands. So we'll just warm up the spine a little bit with some spinal um, circles. Please grab the shins or the knees, and just start rotating. You can do small circles, you can do big circles. Just feel the base of the spine opening up. 
We want to get the spine nice and cultured to receive all the beautiful energy we're going to put back into it today. It's nice to inhale when you're going forward and exhale back to regulate the breath. Just feeling yourself open up. This area can also often be quite tense. And when you're ready, moving to the other side. And so while you're doing your last bit of this, I'll tell you a bit about what Yogi Bhajan says about this Kriya. In our culture, we're taught to view sex in terms of pleasure and reproduction. We are not educated in the need for moderate sex to maintain our health and nerve balance. Sexual experiences can correct consciousness and bring you to the experience of godliness. But before that can occur, you must constantly charge your sexual batteries. So that's what we're going to do today. So I invite you to please come laying flat on your bellies. And what we're going to do from this position is move up into Cobra on the exhale and then inhale into Dandasana or plank pose. And we're going to do this 26 times while I chant Ong So Hung, which means infinite I am thou. Ong So Hung. Ong So Hung. Ong Cobra So Hung Dandasana. Ong So Hung. Four. Ong So Hung. Five. Ong So Hung. Six. Ong So Hung. Seven. Ong So Hung. Eight. Ong So Hung. Nine. Ong so hung ten Ong so hung eleven Ong so hung twelve Ong so hung thirteen Ong so hung fourteen Ong so hung fifteen Ong so hung sixteen Ong so hung Seventeen, oh so hung. Eighteen, oh so hung. Nineteen, oh so hung. Twenty, oh so hung. Twenty-one, oh so hung. Twenty-two, oh so hung. Twenty-three, oh so hung. Twenty-four, oh so hung. Twenty-five. Ong so hung. Twenty six. Inhale and bring yourself into cow pose, please. Hands are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath the hips. And again, we're going to move in and out of two poses. So we will go from cow and glide into laying down with the chin to the floor and hips to the floor, pulling back up into cow. 26 times. Everyone got that? Ong. Oh. Cow pose is the exhale and laying is the inhale. Ready? Ong oh. so hung. Ong so hung. 
Ong so hang. Ong so hang. Ong so hang. Five. Ong so hang. Six. Ong so hang. Seven. Ong so hang. Eight. Ong so hang. Nine. Ong so hang. Ten. Ong so hang. Eleven. Ong so hang. Twelve. Ong so hang. Thirteen. Ong so hang. Fourteen. Ong so hang. Fifteen. Ong so hang. Sixteen. Ong so hang. Seventeen. Ong so hang. And let that chin touch the floor. Teen. Ong so hang. Nineteen. Ong so hang. Twenty. Ong so hang. Twenty one. Ong so hang. Twenty two. Ong so hang. Twenty three. Ong so hang. Twenty four. Ong so hang. Twenty five. Ong so hang. Twenty six. Beautiful. And now, please come lying on your back. And please bring your feet to your butt and come up into bridge pose holding the ankles. So it will look like this. And we're going to lift the butt and bring it back down. This is really, really great for the ovaries in women and for the prostate in men. So we're going to bring the butt up and down and bridge, inhaling, raising your hips, exhaling, bringing them down 26 times. And I'll save you the chanting you can chant for yourself this time. And inhale to begin, raising the hips up and down on the exhale, one, two, three, up and down, holding the ankles please, if you can, if you can't, it's okay. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And please come laying Shavasana. Arms are wide so the shoulders can relax. Legs are wide so the hips can relax. And you're just going to melt for a couple of minutes into the ground. Let the energy integrate.
and please inhale and bring the feet to the buttocks again into bridge pose, preparing for another 26. Holding the ankles, inhaling up and exhaling down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And now extend the legs forward, please. And you're going to bring the legs up about 18 inches off of the floor and you're going to hug one knee to the chest and alternate back and forth. Please continue to alternate the legs. It's more of a push-pull than um, like a bicycle. You guys are doing great. These first three exercises are basically tapping into the sexual energy, harnessing it, and giving it attention. Less than a minute left. Please hold both legs in the air straight out. Keep the legs up. Inhale, holding the legs up and straight. Inhale, hold the breath. And exhale. Relax. Now please bring the soles of your feet together like this and just rock up and down for a few seconds, loosening up the spine. <laughs> and come laying down again. And please come into what we call stretch pose. The feet are above the ground about six inches. The head is up. The arms are pointing straight, fingers are straight, and we're gazing at the toes. And just relax in this, air, in this position. Women, if you're on your moon cycle, please just do one leg at a time. And just really focus on your breath and your core bringing yourself into a deep relaxation. Thirty seconds more. Doing great. And you can do this for up to seven minutes if you can manage. And I want you to now inhale and exhale all of the air out and hold the mulband, which is squeezing the anus, rectum, sex organs, pulling that energy with the 
breath exhaled. That's wonderful. And inhale, exhale, pulling again. Inhale, exhale all of the breath and pull. Inhale, exhale all of the breath and pull. Inhale, exhale all of the breath and pull and relax. And I want you to just lay Shavasana, really take up all of the space you need. Arms are wide, legs are wide. And just notice any shifts. Sensing your face and allowing your face to relax. And feeling at one with divine consciousness, whether you call that God, whether you call that the universe. Mother Earth, being at one with your highest self. And I want you to feel unlimited in your power, feel your infinite potential, your infinite wisdom, and your connectedness to this divine source. And we're going to chant together. God and me, me and God are one. 12 times, and we're going to start with a whisper. God and me, me and God are one. 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 Getting louder. God and me, me and God are one. God and me, me and God are one. God and me, me and God are one. Inhale deeply and hold for 15 seconds, please. And exhale. And we're going to chant one more time, this time really loud and crazy and not being shy about it. God and me, me and God are one. 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 Please inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Please bring the feet together. Inhale. And bring the feet up to 90 degrees. Exhale. And lower the feet, exhale, and relax. And please come sitting up in Siddhasana, easy pose. And we're going to do alternate nostril breathing. So we want to rest the middle finger and the pointing finger at the third eye. The thumb will close the right nostril and the ring finger and pinky will close the left nostril. And we want to start by exhaling completely through the left nostril. And inhale through the left nostril. Inhale. Exhale through the right nostril. And inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And as you do this, if you can come closing your eyes and focusing your breath at the base of your spine now. And as you get the breath into this area, begin to hold Mobanda, squeezing the anus, rectum, sex organs up while practicing this alternate breath. And once you've done that, I'd like you to visualize the sound current of Sat Nam. Sat on the inhale, Nam on the exhale. And Sat Nam means truth is my name. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. And when you've finished your last round, please close the right nostril and begin breathing a bit more rapidly only through the left nostril. And please begin breath of fire only through the left nostril. And breath of fire is an equal inhalation and exhalation while pumping the diaphragm. The inhale, the belly becomes full. The exhale, the belly goes to the spine. And it's best to focus on the exhale. The inhale will come. Women on their moon time, just breathe long and deep. Do not do breath of fire.
And now please do the other side on the right. Breath of fire. Please move back to the left nostril, breathing slowly and gently. Deeply, slowly and gently through the left. And alternate to the right, breathing deeply and slowly and gently through the right nostril. Please breathe through both nostrils now, taking a nice deep inhale. Really filling yourself with beautiful air, oxygenating your body in every cell. And as you exhale, I want you to completely slowly and gently exhale and hold your exhale out. Visualize your spine. Visualize the energy swirling up your spine. Take a nice deep inhale. Again, exhaling. Visualizing the sound current Sat Nam. My true self, my true identity. And this energy is flowing up both sides of the spine, the front and the back, up on the Sat, and down on the nam, into the spine, removing this energy. And inhale, once more, sat into the spine. Exhale, nam, moving this energy into the spine. Now I want you to see this energy swirling. Breathing, inhale. And exhale. Just allow this energy that you're creating to swirl. Feeling it move from the base of the spine. Slowly, quickly, however it comes. It can be a color, it can be a shape, it can be a sound current. Embody it through the breath and exhale. Holding the breath out. Inhaling. Swirling this true self, the sat, up the spine. And nam, down into the spine. Your time is now. Bring it up, inhale. Swirling. And exhale, holding out the breath. Bringing the nam into the spine. And now come and relax your breath and come with your eyes open, allowing yourself to just feel any shifts. And we're going to do a chanting meditation called Ekonkar Satnam Siri Wahe Guru. And this chant um, 
Yogi Bhajan calls God's phone number and he says that if it's chanted in the right way with the right frequency and the right positioning of the body, you can really have a direct connection to God dialing up his phone number or her phone number uh, with these frequencies that we create. So we're going to close the eyes, roll the eyes inward and upward to the third eye point, and we're also going to apply root lock in certain elements of this chant. So it will go ik, om city wa he guru hands can be in gyan mudra or opened on the knees and we'll chant this for 3 minutes deep inhale ik o city wa he guru ek o city wa he guru ek o city wa he guru ek o
city. Wah! Hey! Just allow yourself to feel at peace. To feel this divine connection. And please inhale. Pulling Mula Bandha, holding the energy and bringing it up your spine. You might feel a bit lightheaded, it's okay. Really pull it in. Suck in a bit more air if you can. And exhale, releasing. And please come laying Shavasana for a final relaxation. The seminal fluids produced in the male and female contain high concentrations of minerals and elements that are crucial to proper nerve balance and brain functioning. The sexual fluid is reabsorbed by the body if it is allowed to mature. Its essence or ojas are transported into the spinal fluid. Running your mind without ojas is like running a car without oil. You wear out very quickly. About 90% of your sexual energy is used to repair and rejuvenate your organs and your body. The normal span of potency for a yogi is equal to the length of his life. In the US, potency wanes even in our early 40s. This kriya generates sexual energy and transmutes it into ojas and healing force. And please come sitting in Siddhasana or Easy Pose when you're ready. And just rub the palms of the hands together. And at the end of every Kundalini Yoga class, we close with a long Sat Nam. Truth is my identity. Inhale. Sat and power and beauty be with you, around you, and grow through you always. Satnam. And you can do this Kriya every day for the next 40 days if you want the ultimate impact. Thank you so much for joining us. Satnam.